All right. This is a <laughs> discussion, but all right. Not one of my prouder moments. It's an embarrassing play, and it's against Belichick, and it's against Brady, which makes it actually worse. It's Thanksgiving night. It's the national game on NBC. He put all of that into a bow, and it's almost, it's typical Jets. A month earlier, the Jets had actually taken New England into overtime at Foxborough before losing. So we naturally felt that the rematch was going to be another white knuckler. Uh, boy, were we wrong. It all went wrong when Sanchez turned the wrong way. That, that, was, that was the first indication that it was going to be a, a bad play. But we had no idea it was going to be a disaster play like it turned out. Sanchez somehow found Brandon Moore's butt as a, as a landing spot. Honest to God, I thought he was trying to slide or something. All of a sudden, I'm standing there, and the ball is just bouncing in front of me. I scoop it up on Thanksgiving and start running. I'm in the end zone going, what the heck just happened? I mean, did I really just score? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know, I think that was, I think I used different words. The play almost unfolded in slow motion. It was as if you were watching actors on a stage. The choreography was perfect. Mark's face planted into the back of Brandon Moore's butt. I mean, that's a unique play, man. I mean, it just doesn't happen all the time. It's the sort of play that you can make a farce out of for a long period of time, and any good talk show host wants to mock a fan. And this particular fan base is, you know, they're used to getting mocked, and they're so easy to pick on, it makes it interesting, makes it fun. The look of sheer embarrassment and shame as he put his head on the turf while Steve Gregory picked up the football and scored. It was a great play for me, maybe not so much for Mark. It makes the Jets, makes them look stupid, makes them look inept. It makes them look Abbott and Costello-like for a franchise that hasn't been to a Super Bowl since 1969. It's fitting, is what it is. The other thing I, I remember kind of distinctly was it was in the early days of us sort of monitoring Twitter uh, in relation to how people reacted to something that was live. Within moments, people on Twitter were like, wait a minute. Nobody stripped that ball. A butt caused that fumble. Hence, the butt fumble was created. On Twitter, within an hour, there were 22,000 mentions of the butt fumble. I'm going to guess what this last word is. It, it really embodies viral content. What we like to call it, or I like to call it, tabloid catnip. It's perfect. Uh, it's, it's the story. You have to figure out the keyword, and the keyword is the butt. The quarterback smashed his face into the offensive lineman's butt. It says butt heads. Uh, Mark Jets hit bottoming his pats in Turkey Day route. I see shame and disbelief and shock in Mark Sanchez's face moments after the most embarrassing play of his career. A couple of the others that were near the top of the list were rump roast and butt of the joke. Ultimately, we went with Bud Ugly. Bud Ugly? Well, yeah. Again, tabloid catnip. I think the play was a microcosm of Mark Sanchez's career. He ultimately never mastered the most important element of playing quarterback in the NFL, ball security. I think it kind of showed you that Sanchez was not the answer quarterback. I, I think that's the big thing for me. This ended that discussion. I haven't talked to Mark about it, but I think I should take this opportunity to formally thank him on behalf of myself and the entire nation for giving us this opportunity to relive this every year.